Hey guys, Crazy Jack 28 here. Um, this is gonna be kind of a different video from one of my usual videos because on this channel there's mostly rants or gaming videos or just goofing off with my friends and it's just pretty much a multi-general channel. 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 But anyway, um, I have something to show you guys. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody knows what a 3D printer is. But for those of you who don't know, it is a very complicated machine to where you can draw out something on AutoCAD uh, and it'll print it. Well, uh, I am a CAD student at my high school and we were assigned a project to uh, make a teacup and it can be no bigger than 4 by 4 by 4 inches. Now. Most of you know that I play percussion in my high school marching band. I'm a snare drummer. So, I decided to get creative and <coughs> make a snare drum cup. And it was required to hold water, have our name in it, and be no bigger than 4x4x4 four by four by four inches. And I decided to get real creative and detailed on this, and it's got my name in it. Now, from where everything in this is so thin, and from where it had to be so small, one of the letters fell out, so that's why there's that gap there. And a few of the bolts on the uh, drum head here kind of fell out too. But one cool thing, the lid comes off, or drum head. And there is <coughs> space on the inside to where it can actually hold water, and it passed that test as well. And uh, some of the uh, bolts on it fell off to simulate the snare drum pegs. I'm gonna try to rotate it. See, right there on my uh, left or right, whatever side you're looking at it from. <coughs> but I've lost my train of thought. Uh, it has the thing. Jeez, I really should have went more into detail about this video. But anyway. <coughs> I think I'm getting sick. But on the bottom, it actually has cables or the snare cables that actually give the snare drum the snappy sound that it has. And it's got the tension boxes. That way you can tighten it or loosen it for whatever occasion. <coughs> and it's pretty much... This describes itself. It is a teacup in the shape of a drum that has a removable drum head. Now, um... This thing took about 13 hours to print, and it nearly crashed the, our school's shitty computers. So I felt pretty <laughs> kind of badass about how my cup destroyed a computer. Anyway, um, but 3D printing is a most people ask, why didn't it do the product? No, it is not. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting sick. 3D printing is mostly used to, for prototypes, like if companies are going to develop a new product, they want to test it out, so they will draw it up on AutoCAD, and they will print it out, and they will send that to get patented, or just to test it out. <coughs> anyway, they do have metal 3D printers, which is really, really cool, because... Like if he was testing out a new car part or a new type of uh, physical shape of a hard drive to make it more not only more efficient to fit in something or to make it conserve energy or anything. Metal 3, 3D printers are a hell of a lot more expensive than a plastic one for obvious reasons. However, they're also more dangerous because with metal printers, guns. Now, a lot of people ask my opinion on that. I don't have one. <coughs> if you have the program and you have the printer, you're free to do whatever you want. I see my talents more through creativeness. But, uh... I just really love this damn cup. I got it today. Er, it finished printing today. <coughs> I need some fucking cough drops. Anyway, sorry for the, about the random video. I just thought you guys would like to see that, uh... Oh, uh, if you're actually interested in AutoCAD or getting into that field, it is so fun and so easy.
Even I can do it. You, you see how stupid I act. Even I can do this. So I encourage you, please, try out AutoCAD. Unfortunately, it's not a free program, but they should offer it at your school. They should. I'm not saying there are. It, the program of study might be called AutoCAD, Architectural Drafting, um, Design... Oh, shit, what's the name of it? <coughs> I need some cough drops. Anyway. <coughs> Jeez, okay. Before I cough my lungs out, I'm going to let you look at the drum again. Pretty cool. So, hopefully this video can get some views. Sorry if this video is kind of disorganized with my coughing and random rants about uh, AutoCAD. But... It is a very fun career to get in. It's extremely educational, extremely fun. You, If you can think it, if you can literally think anything that you want to print out, this thing can do it. It just depends on the quality of printer. I've seen some that go from about $200, <coughs> but they're basic. I mean, 3D printing is complicated, but... It's a basic, complicated way. It can only print out certain materials. The, and the one that we have at our school is about $15,000. But it can print some sh... <laughs> yeah, but... Anyway. Uh, sorry for the kind of the random shit in this video. I just thought you guys would be interested to see... <coughs> a drum cup, teacup... And hopefully people like me who admire and adore 3D printers and 3D stuff and AutoCAD in general, uh, hopefully this video can get around and maybe this could give them some ideas because this was an assignment. I got an A on it. Uh, my teacher offered to, like, he told me he knew somebody that could actually print this out in a metal or an actual size, like, mug or to where, just where you can scale it up to where it can actually be, like, a huge mug. <coughs> I'm getting sick. I'm going to go ahead and end the video. The main point of this video, explore AutoCAD. It's not a free program. Talk to your guidance counselor? No. Well, talk to somebody at your high school about this program because it's fun, it's educational, and it's very rewarding. So, um... If you guys have any questions, comments, leave them down in the comments. That's a given. Uh, so I hope you guys like the cup. I like the cup. It's very nice. And it's, you can hold it and you can take the top off and you can take a toot toot and up. I'm just going to shut the fuck up. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and Christmas is around the corner. So I hope you guys have a very Merry Christmas. And I will see you in my next video. And as always, peace.